fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high-yo silver, the Lone Ranger. In the early days of the western United States, gun law ruled the range country. It was then that the masked rider of the plains started his great fight for justice, and adventure lay at the end of every trail. But no more exciting story has come down through the generations than the story of the time when the Lone Ranger assumed the personality of Wild Bill Riley. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Hound Silver, away! In Cooperstown, the small frame hotel was in flames. The bucket brigade found it impossible to put out the fire and only tried to prevent the spread of the blaze. Everyone in town took a hand in the work, and excitement ran high. Blow water over here! Come on, get to the castle flames, Cliff! There's fire in the air! Hey, clear of them timbers! Ain't nobody crashed in the fire, is there? Hey, Jim! Jim Plummer! Hi there! Hi. Get everybody out! Oh, they know they did, Chef. Dave said they'd give up one, and he could. Well, yes, sir. Hi, Chef! Well, there's Abe and Slim. What's the matter? We've been looking all over for you, Sheriff. Sheriff? That fire was started to cover a killing. What fire? What killing? Wild Bill Riley killed Lamont. Your loco. We've seen it. The polecat tried to get us, too. But we got away, Sheriff, and went hunting for you. And while we were gone, Bill must have set that fire. That's a blasted lie. You say that just because you're a friend of his. I'm not Hold it, you the... fellas. Hold it. Abe, you sure Lamont was dead? He had to be. He was drilled right through the heart. No question about it, Sheriff. Well, then there ain't no use in anybody risking his life when they're after him. But you fellas stay close by. When this fire's been put out, I'll have some questions to ask you. We'll be around. We want that killer to get what's coming to him. And if you don't go after him, Sheriff, we will. Several hours later, a crowd gathered in front of the Sheriff's office. Then... All right, the posse, Sheriff. So lie. The sooner we get that killer, the better. He's likely headed for the war. Well, what are we waiting for? Well, Oh, step inside. Now, get out of my way. Hey, here comes Ma Plummer. Hey, look where you're going. This ain't no place for you, Ma. One side of four tracks here. Sheriff. What do you want, ma'am? What's going on here? What's this foolishness I've been told about Wild Bill Riley being a killer? It's so, ma'am. Bill killed the Ma, all right. Can't be no uh, doubt about it. Fiddlesticks. Bill ain't no more a killer than... Than I am. Everybody knows there was bad blood between them. Well, I never had no use for Lamont, and neither did my son. If that's evidence, why don't you jail us, too? No, ma'am. You know, ma, I got more than that to go on. Yeah? What? There, there's Abe and Slim. We was there when it happened. We've seen the whole thing. And both of you have always hated Bill ever since you worked for Black Bart. You'd both stretch the truth from here to Frisco if it'd hang in. Now you look Shut up, Abe. I'm sorry, Mrs. Plummer. I know you thought a heap of wild, Bill. But I'd have evidence enough to hang him even without Abe and Slim. From where? From Dave here. Yeah. He was on duty at the desk at the time. 
You wouldn't accuse him of lying, would you? Dave, what do you know about this? I heard both shots, Mum. Yeah? Right after the shots, Abe and Slim come running out, yelling they was going for the sheriff. Then Bill come out, still holding the gun in his hand. I've seen him climb aboard that paint horse of his and ride off. You see Bill fire them shots? No. Then how'd you know they weren't fired by either Abe or Slim? They couldn't have, Mum. They wasn't armed. I noticed that particular because when they first come in, they was cussing something fierce over losing their guns in a card game at the cafe. You see Lamont after he was shot? I, uh, well, uh, you see the fire broke out just then. I got so excited. But you I lost your see. head like always. Well, Sheriff, according to this, you don't even know that Lamont was killed, except for what Abe and Slim say. Oh, well, he was killed all right. Found him after the fire. We identified him by that ring he always wore and them fancy boots of his. Sounds like proof enough to hang anybody, don't it? It's the clearest case I ever seen. Now, just listen to this. First off, Abe and Slim was eyewitnesses. Second, there's Dave to back up their story. He heard two shots like he told you, and they was the only shots anybody heard. Huh. But there's still more. If Wild Bill didn't do the killing, if it was Abe or Slim instead, why didn't Bill say or do something about it? Instead, he not only kept shut, but made tracks out of town besides. Go on. And if Bill weren't the killer, why'd he set fire to the hotel? How'd you know he did? Well, it had to be him. He was in the room with Abe and Slim, weren't he? If they'd done it, he could have stopped them or put the fire out afterwards, couldn't he? At the least, he could have given them warning. But he didn't do any of them things. And he was the last one out of that room. Now, I'll explain that away. I can't. Like I said, it looks to be proof enough to hang anybody. But I'll say more than that. Yeah? I wouldn't believe Wild Bill killed Lamont even if I'd seen him do it with my own eyes. That's just how well I know him. Ma'am, you're standing by a friend, and I admire you for it. But I represent the law, and I got my duty to do, and with the sheriff, that's all that counts. So when I catch Bill, he'll have to hang. Who's this coming with the dog? Oh, we've been waiting for him. A young stranger in town. Calls himself Arizona Lawson. Hunts wolves with that dog of his and lives on the bounty. You all ready to go, Arizona? Anytime you say, Sheriff. Quiet, boy. Quiet there. Figure your dog can follow the trail? Never seen the trail yet he couldn't follow, Sheriff. Good enough. All right, man. All of you riding with the posse, get mounted. All right, Sheriff. You seem to be a right pleasant young fellow. Ma'am? Just a doggone shame you're helping to hunt down the best man this town ever seen. Jim! Hi, ah, Jim! Yeah? Son, you're riding with this posse, too. Well, what I want... Just recollect all Bill's done for us. If he's caught and they make to hang him without a trial, shoot down the first skunk to raise a hand again him. I... Now I... you're no son of mine. Blast it, Ma. I've been trying to say that's just what I mean to do. Let's get going! Hey, wait for me! Get back! Get up! Oh, shit! Oh, 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 oh. You'll be sorry for this as long as you live! The man known to the people of the district as Wild Bill Riley was in reality the famous Lone Ranger in disguise. He had ridden from Cooperstown to a small camp hidden deep in the great forest that stretched for miles to the north. It was dusk. At the sound of an approaching horse, he jumped to his feet and... That's you, Tonto? It's Tonto. I've been waiting for you, Kimasabe. Oh, Silver. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you, you hear, Silver? Silver, <laughs> old fellow. <laughs> How are you? Good boy. Where have you been, Tonto? Uh, me, right north. Top feller get shot. Well, Bill? Uh, How is he? Him well now. Him won't see you. Does he know that I've been using his identity to help Jim Plummer? Uh, me tell him. What did he say? Him plenty glad. And I'm glad to hear he's well again. You remember that night we found him when he'd been dry Uh, It didn't look then as though he'd ever lived to tell about it. Well, a lot of things have happened since that night. But I've got an idea. We've just about finished our work in this district. Oh, that good. I stopped in the hotel to see Lamont just before I rode here. What him say? He asked me to drop in. He made another attempt to bribe me. Uh... When I refused, he lost his temper, drew and fired two shots at me. But his aim wasn't very good. I took his gun away from him and told him if he wasn't out of Cooperstown by nightfall, I'd drive him out. Him plenty bad fella. Yes. But I noticed he'd got in touch with two of Black Bart's old gun hands. The two we'd had trouble with when we first came here. Uh, who, them? Abe and Slim, remember? Oh, yeah. 
When Lamont fired, they ran out of the room yelling for the sheriff. I suppose they imagined I'd shoot Lamont down. Them cowards. Well, at least Lamont should realize that he has no more reason to go after Jim. Jim's fight is with the Transcontinental. And after Lamont nearly cost Transcontinental $30,000, they discharged him. Maybe him try get you. No doubt he'd like to, but I'll see he doesn't get the opportunity. Hmm. There's another thing you should know. What that? A man by the name of Burdick should reach Cooperstown from the east almost any time now. And who, him? One of the three men who own the Transcontinental. If the owners authorize the crooked tactics Black Bart and Lamont used trying to get Jim to sell out, then Burdick's arrival may mean more trouble. Ah. But if they didn't, then he may be able to settle this dispute peaceably. At any rate, we'll hope for the best. Not right. And... Tonto, what made that brush move? Throw up your hands! What? You're surrounded! Come on, boy! Tonto! Oh, you are a zone. Quiet, boy, quiet. It was your part here, my dog trailed. Why, he must be... You keep still. But golly, you don't talk. No need for anybody to talk. Wild Bill, I'm here and now arresting you for the murder of Mr. Lamont and the firing of the hotel. Get on your horse. You're going to jail. At a low command from his white friend, Tonto made no attempt to free him from the posse. Arizona Lawson, puzzled and almost certain that the prisoner was the Lone Ranger, followed with Tonto. The posse returned to town and the Lone Ranger was jailed. All that night and well into the next day, the men of Cooperstown talked about the capture. And as the discussion continued, Lynch sentiment grew. The cafe was in the center of the liveliest argument, and... Bill's guilty. Why in blazes should we waste good cash on a trial? That's what I say. No, listen here. I'm for law and order. Bill Wall always seemed to be a good fellow. That's what makes what he's done all the worse. Argue all you want to, fellas. I've declared myself. Bill's my friend. If it hadn't been for him, I'd have been forced out of business. Busted flat. Licked by Transcontinental. You don't drag Bill from jail unless you shoot me first. And every man works for me feels the same. That's the way to talk, Jim. I'm for Bill myself. Then you're a fool. He's a killer. Me and your friend, Jim, don't make him innocent. Yeah, yeah, what kind of fool talk is this? Sheriff, there's too blame much lynch talk going on around here. He ought to be lynched. He don't deserve a trial. All right, boys, all right. Hush up and listen to me a second. I never seen the time yet that there was a killing and somebody jailed for it, that there wasn't a lot of loose mouth talk about lynch law. Only when there was a reason for it. Nope, not only then. But it wouldn't matter if it was. What you hombres have got to get through your thick heads is the fact that everybody's entitled to a trial. Guilty or not guilty, that goes for everybody. And you gents that's hollering loudest right now for a hanging would be just the first ones to start yelling for your legal rights if you was where Wild Bill is. That ain't no argument. Ain't it? Well, think it over anyhow. Some of you ain't so far from jail right at this minute that you can afford to act hasty. If by that you mean me... What's that? That sounds like those shots come from the jail. Come on. Yeah. Look at that crowd. It was from the jail, all right. Hey, what happened? Jail break. Wild Bill was broke from jail. Well, I'll be... A fine deputy you got. He let that polecat go free. He couldn't help it, Sheriff. Honestly, I couldn't. This will mean your job, deputy. How'd it happen? I don't hardly know. There was three of them, but I never got a chance to look at their faces. They, they come up from behind and was wearing masks. First thing I knew, they got me covered. So I suppose you just kindly opened Bill's cell and let him walk out. But, but, but Jerry, what else could I do? What are we standing here for? Why don't we take after him? Who's seen which way they went? Well, they're likely headed back for the woods. Then come on, let's get our horses. Let's get started. Hey! What's all the fuss out there? Oh, who said that? I did. Get away from my cell if you got to make noise. Well, it's Bill. It's Wild Bill. Well, I'll be... Hey, come here. Bill's right here and still in jail. Come around. Come around to the side. It can't be Bill. If I ain't, then who am I? But but, but you just escaped. I, I just let you out. You, you rode away. Hey, Sheriff, this deputy of yours going loco? What in thunder is he talking about? I believe me, that's what I'd like to know. Deputy, give me that bottle. What bottle are you talking about, Sheriff? The bottle you've been drinking from, you walled eyed guzzler. Anybody seeing double like you just done must have swallowed enough liquor to drown himself. Sheriff, I never had a drop. Don't make it worse by lying. Give me that bottle and go home and sober up. <laughs> the curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. The deputy's story of a jailbreak that was not a jailbreak furnished amusement for many days. Poor Clay. Sheriff won't hardly speak to him. And he goes around like he's scared he's losing his senses. Funniest thing I ever seen. <laughs> he's still got the crust to claim he hasn't been drinking. Well, who does he figure to believe him? I wouldn't believe nothing he said no more. How well, Clay, can a fella get so bad he can imagine all that and take it for gospel? <laughs> yes, Clay, he can tell you. Well, anyhow, I'm doggone glad Clay was seeing double. While Bill's still in jail. And he'll stay there till he does his dance from the limb of a tree. <laughs> but Jim Plummer found a number of things in the situation to confuse him. You talk to Bill again, son? Uh-huh. Yeah, I talk to him all right. Well... No, you'll think I'm crazy, but sometimes I get the notion that Wild Bill ain't Wild Bill. What? Yeah, I told you you think I was crazy. But that's what I feel sometimes, and I can't help it. But, Jim, that's the way I've been feeling. I just never said anything for fear you'd think I was crazy. Huh? Say that again. I felt it all along. Honest? Honest you have? Ain't it silly? Of course, it can't be so. No, no, I reckon it can't. He talks like Wild Bill, and yet somehow he don't. Yeah, and he looks like Wild Bill. Yet all the time, there's something different. And he forgets That's what... just what's bothered me most of all. I mentioned things that's happened. Things he was concerned in, and he stands and looks at me like I was talking about somebody else. He does. That's just what he does. Now, what do you figure's behind it? Wish to heaven I knew. It's beyond me. And me. But, Jim, you mind what I'm telling you. Hmm? Don't you breathe a word of this to nobody. Oh, of course I won't. I'm confessing there is something strange in all this that we can't get to the bottom of. At least the ways I can't. But we've known Bill for quite a spell now. This ain't the first time he's done things that are strange. And all of so far, they've come out right in the end. Mm Mm-hmm. There's no denying that. So for one more time, I reckon we can let Bill run things his way. You wait. He'll finish on top again. That same day, events began to happen in rapid succession. First, Arizona Lawson halted the stage from the east before it reached Cooperstown. Hey there, mister. Your handle, Burdick? Yes, it is. Then climb out of there. You're riding with me. Look here, young man. No argument, mister. Just do like I say. Arizona, returning to the forest with Burdick, reined in his horse and shouted to Tonto. Whoa, whoa, boy. Whoa, whoa. Here's Burdick, Tonto. Now get on your way. Uh, I'm all right. Get him up, Scout. Get him up. Tonto raced to town and brought his powerful stallion to a sliding stop in front of Jim Plummer's house. Oh, oh, Plummer, oh. oh. Who's that? You open door. Oh, Tonto, uh, where have you been? What? Wait, uh, but, but... you hear what Tonto say, then you act. Finally, the sheriff was startled to see Jim burst open the door and... Sheriff, what? Hey, don't ever bust in on me like that again. You sounded like it was a hold-up. Listen, Sheriff, yeah? don't ask me why, because I don't know. But do like I say without arguing. I do what? Get Wild Bill and bring him along. Where? To the old Phillips place on the edge of town where Abe and Slim have been bunking. Wait, hold on. Maybe I ain't got this straight. Don't waste time. Just a second. Are you trying to tell me I should get Bill out of his cell and go with you to where Abe and Slim are staying? That's it. You don't by any chance figure me to be as crazy as that new account deputy of mine, do you? Sheriff, I know it sounds crazy, but you got to do what I say. Why do I? It'll solve Lamont's killing. That's been solved already. No, it ain't. This will prove Bill's innocence. Look here, Jim. Is this some trick? I know you think a heap of Bill. Are you just aiming to get him outside so friends of yours can break him free? It ain't a trick. I think Sheriff, it... I ain't asking you to go there with Bill alone. Take your deputy. Take anybody you want. Get the whole town to guard him if you like. But you gotta go there. Maybe you'd better explain. All I can tell you is this. I've been talking to a redskin I've met before. That redskin saved my life once. I've never known him to lie. And he said to get you and Bill to Phillips' place and it'd be proved where Bill never killed Lamont. And you ain't got no objections to a guard going wrong? The more the better. 
Great. Want me, Sheriff? Get down to the cafe. Pick out a dozen fellas handy with their shooting irons and tell them to get here as fast as they can. Now get. That's that. Now come along with me and we'll get Wild Bill. Sheriff, I, I appreciate this. Well, you ought to. I know what I'm asking to get you into trouble, but you got my word it won't. That's what I'm depending on. That and about a dozen fellas with guns. Howdy, Sheriff. Hi there, Jim. What's up? Don't ask me. I'm just the soft-headed idiot that's making it possible. Bill, you're going to be proved innocent. Yeah? Well, now, that's real good news. I'm unlocking this here cell. You'll come out, but I'll have you covered every second. And if either one of you makes a false move, I'll let you have it. You needn't worry, Sheriff. Hey, if this is a trick, you'd better... All right, step out. Sure thing. Walk ahead of me. Mm-hmm. I'm taking you to where Abel Slimmer's stand. You got any notion why? Ain't you? I said I ain't. Then let's wait and find out why together. I got him, Sheriff. All right, tell him to get mounted. We're paying our call. The men called by the deputy rode in close ranks around Wild Bill. And following the sheriff and Jim Plummer, headed for the ramshackle building on the edge of town where Abe and Slim were living. They drew rain in front of the place, then... Oh, 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 oh. Now what do we do, Jim? Go inside. Yeah? Well, come along, boys. Watch Bill. Hey, what's this? Howdy, Slim. Oh, it's you, is it, Sheriff? It's the Sheriff, Abe. What in thunder does he want here? Oh, there, Abe. Mind if me and my friend step inside? Huh? What for? What do you want here? I ain't rightly sure. But you haven't no objections, have you? Well, I, I reckon it's all right. What's Wild Bill with you for? What's the idea of letting a killer out of jail? Ask Jim. Well? No, I can explain that. What's in front of what what the man? Man? What? It's Wild Bill again. No, it ain't. This here is Wild Bill. Am I seeing double again? Sheriff, do you see what I see? Well, what do you see? Two Wild Bills. Then we're seeing the same. Then don't try and say that I was drinking this time. I... Wait. I said I'd explain. Somebody better before I go loco. I'm the man you trailed into the forest and captured. I'm the man you jailed and was broken from jail the time you accused your deputy of imagining the jailbreak. Then he's the real wild pill. Arrest him, Sheriff. Not so fast. Now, who are you? That doesn't matter. This man here, however, is the real wild bill. Is that right? <laughs> that's me. I'm Bill Riley. But you ain't the Bill Riley that's been helping me out. I wondered why you didn't seem the same. This fellow here's the one I knew. You're right, Jim. You remember when you wrote to Bill and asked him to drive your first stage? Uh-huh. Bill was dry gulched and nearly killed. Tato and I found him. Bill asked me to do what I could to help you. And I did by disguising myself, taking his place, and letting you think I was Wild Bill. So that was it. Tato took Bill north to a friend who nursed him back to health and kept his presence a secret. Yeah? But this year, dry gulching. Uh, what was it for and who done it? Jim Stage had to leave town and Bill was the only man willing to drive it. The man who shot Bill thought it would keep the stage from leaving. And the skunks that shot me are standing right there. Abe and Slim. Blast you. Hold tight, my... Oh! I've had to do that to you before, Slim. Dry gulchers, eh? Well, I ain't surprised. Grab them, fellas. They're going to jail. Oh, you can't... But one of you fellas is still guilty of killing Lamont, the way I see it. Then what? All right, Arizona. Let your dog go. Get him, boy. Oh, 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 oh. The dog headed for the bedroom. He's pawing at the door. The game's up, Lamont. Come out of there. What did you say? Hey, Lamont's dead. That's what he wanted you to think. Lamont, you can't get away. Come out before I go in there after you. I, I give up. Don't, don't shoot. Well, Lamont, be blessed. I'll tell you what happened, Sheriff. Lamont tried to frame me. He invited me to call on him at the hotel. He fired two shots, making me believe he was trying to kill me. But in reality, he fired just so others outside would hear. Hmm? Abe and Slim left calling for you. I took Lamont's gun and left. Then when I was gone, Lamont set fire to his room and slipped out by the window. Of all the dirty sneaking tricks. But who was the fellow we found after the fire? I'm not certain, but it wouldn't surprise me to learn it was Speed, the gunman Lamont had hired to kill Jim here. He'd likely been killed, dressed in Lamont's clothes, and hidden in Lamont's room before I entered it. I think either Rave or Slim will be able to tell you the truth about that. If they know, I'll get it out of them. But look here, how'd you know Lamont was still alive? He had to be. Everyone who'd heard them agreed just two shots had been fired in his room. I knew those shots had been fired at me, not Lamont. I knew he was alive after the shots. No other shots were fired. So he must have escaped and the body belonged to someone else. You can't prove it. He's just making that up. Why, Lamont, you blame fool? The fact that you're standing here now proves it. 
He's got to be right. You two are to blame for this. You accusing us? You must have slipped somewhere. Maybe you talked. Maybe you... Where are you, blasted sneak? If you hadn't killed... Shut up. You can't... Don't say another word. You can't threaten them now, Lamont. When they finish talking, you'll hang. You turdy lowdown. Lamont, if you hang, I won't feel sorry for you. Thank you. Burdick. Mr. Burdick. Seems I arrived here none too soon. Who are you? Jim, this man is one of the owners of the Transcontinental and Pacific Company. You... You're one of the owners? I am. Burdick, this is Jim Plummer. He owns a stage line in the mail franchise your company has been trying to get. I see. He's had a lot of trouble with your outfit, Burdick. First, your division manager here, and then Lamont attempted to drive him out of business. So I gather from what I've overheard. I was understood, however, that neither myself nor my partners authorized any such tactics. Treat Jim fairly, and I think you can make a deal. <laughs> Wait, things are happening too doggone fast for me to keep up with him. You're here to make an honest deal for my stage line? Mm. How much is it worth? Gosh, I, I couldn't say right off. 70000 anyhow. We'll have plenty of time to look into that. If you're correct, you'll get your price. Transcontinental has to have that franchise. If you're square, we can deal. And afterwards, well, perhaps we could use you as division manager. But that could be discussed later also. And it's got to wait whether it can or not. Right now, i got to thank this fellow for all he's done. Now, where's he got to? Gosh, Jim, I never even noticed. Oh, Silver! You hear that? Silver. Called his horse Silver. Fellas, listen. That fellow rode away. That fellow that led on to be Wild Bill Riley. That fellow was a Lone Ranger. Wait till I tell that to Ma. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.